The duality of this is quite interesting. Only in Europe. Welcome to Amsterdam. So glad I'm here. There's Sam. Over there is where I finally did it. I finally walked up to some girls to ask if I could hang out with them. They said no, they were leaving in five minutes, but I'm just glad I tried. And then after that, I met the Germans that I hung out with the entire rest of the day. I'll tell you more about it later, but I just wanted to show you the location right by the, the museum I stayed out for five hours. Yesterday was an awesome day. What's up, Sam? And Austin. I'm in a random town called Schifferstadt. Wow. Actually, it's quite pretty. I already noticed it, but just once again, I don't know if you can see it there. Is There's a plane up there somewhere gliding in the air, just like Johannes does, the redhead German I met at the Menza. I missed my connection or it didn't come or something and so I have to wait for another 20 minutes to get the next train. And in the meantime, I thought it would be cool to explain the lore of Amsterdam because I've been wanting to fully capture the memory while it's still fresh because um, so much personal growth and action over inaction happened. And I'm just so happy with myself for finally not wimping out. But please, real quick, take a minute to appreciate the, the small German town that I'm in. This is like a geoguesser moment. Oh, I, oh, I 
what type of fruit that is. Maybe pumpkins. Anyways, um, okay, so I'm gonna be quick because I ramble a lot. Um, I can't think because I know Austin's gonna watch this, not just you, Sam. So I feel pressure. <laughs> Anyways, okay, 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 okay. So I spent five hours at the um, Naval like Maritime Museum in Amsterdam. It was the whole reason I went to Amsterdam. Fabio said I should go over the canals and because the city's cool, and yeah, it is, but. I wanted like an innate actual desire or reason to go somewhere and spend, you know, the money it takes to go there. And it had an awesome ship, awesome museum. I spent five hours there. I feel like I already said that, but um, I learned so much and just got to indulge in see these lore. <laughs> it's inspired me so much. But anyways, the lore. So after that, um, right by the museum, there's a harbor and at this harbor, it was like a perfect day. It was 30 degrees, which is like 90 degrees Fahrenheit and it was so sunny. People were out there. It was like a beach day. There was no beach. It was just a, a harbor with like a, a couple docks because um, it's Amsterdam. So there's canals and boats everywhere, but people were just lounging about and sitting on the on the dock and they were all my age around my age like it, they looked like they were in their early uh, mid 20s early mid 20s um and most of them were like super attractive like super attractive girls and guys everyone was in shape um dutch people are i just i guess just another breed i don't know um there was music going it was like a massive party on the harbor basically and i took a little bit of time to chill but i knew that i wanted to go up and approach um just an attractive girl I knew that uh, before, ah, oh, dang it, there's uh, a lady coming, and, and it's so awkward. Well, give me a sec, I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk somewhere and then turn it on again. Okay, I'll try to keep it more brief and stick to the high highlights. Um, let me back up for a sec though. Before I got to Amsterdam, I knew that I wanted to be more intentional, intentional about my time there. I wanted to set real goals, and so I put in my Apple Notes, Two bullets, two bullet points to check off. One was to talk to an attractive girl. I don't, I didn't care about the result. I just wanted to have tried finally for once. And two, which I'm glad I didn't end up doing. What I ended up doing was better. But the second one was to um, go to a bar because I still haven't yet. But those are my first two, just trying to be intentional with stuff. But really the first one I did want to do, I wanted to actually apply myself and try and the stakes are so low anyways as well. Like I'll never see very many Dutch people ever again and never the people that I would have gone up to. But anyways, I had some concrete goals. I enjoyed my time at the Maritime Museum. And then um, once I found a, a great location to go up in cold approach or cold, uh, a pretty girl, I, I started wandering around that harbor party and and I don't know, like these, this group of two girls, they were so pretty. Um, they caught my eye. I don't know, something about like, I think there was an open space next to them where I knew I could sit down if they, like my whole plan was just to be like, and this is what I ended up saying to them once I actually got the courage to walk up to them after the third time. <laughs> okay, so sorry, I'm saying this in a horrible order. I went past them once to like kind of just check like, <laughs> which is so bad, I should have just gone up to them the first time. But I, I walked past them once, I was like, yeah, okay, I, I, should have, I should have talked to them, dang it. Second time, they were playing a card game and so I didn't want to interrupt the card game and be all dumb like that. And then the third time, I finally got up the courage and I was so nervous, but the moment I started talking to them, it was like a normal conversation. Um, they both were super pretty, but super understanding. They were Dutch, but they spoke perfect English, of course. But all I said was just, um, Hey, do you speak English? And they're like, yeah, this is super random, but I'm traveling here and want to meet people. Uh, can I sit with you? And I couldn't, I can't really tell what they were thinking. I think they were impressed that someone came up to them. That's all I could read on their faces, like surprise, I guess. But um, I think I got politely eld, which is fine. I'm just so glad I tried. They just said, no, sorry, we're actually leaving in five minutes. Um, but anyways, that was that. Let me pause for a sec, because I have to come to an intersection. Okay, I'm realizing I'm being so verbose, but um, after that, once I'd already like tried and, 
and felt good about trying even though I didn't get to sit with those girls. I found a group of people playing volleyball, a um, mix of guys and girls, and I just asked if I could join. And they were very nice and said, yeah, sure. And it's always easier to approach people like doing an activity rather than just sitting somewhere, not really doing anything and just asking to talk. So I think that helped as well. Cool. Um, they ended up being German. So I met a group of Germans in Amsterdam, which is funny. But a lot of the girls, they were very cute. There was one girl in particular I thought was really cute. Doesn't matter though, but anyways. Um, they were happy to have me, happy to join. Um, they just let me join their group. They were visiting for a school, school thing. I felt kind of old. They were like 18, 19, finishing their last year of gymnasium next year. Um, and they were just on a school trip, but they'd split off because everyone has free time in the evening. Anyways, um, I hung out and then we were vibing. So I um, got to swim with them. I just went in my underwear because I didn't bring some trunks. And then uh, after that, I just stuck with them. And then I split a pizza with that girl, which was fun. That was a cool memory. We all got pizza and then we went to uh, the harbor at sunset. And there was like 10 of us. And it was really awesome to be in a group after traveling there alone. Just like such an awesome memory. And they all were so nice as well and so curious. And so maybe that's just Germans. I don't know, Germans are so nice. They all were so friendly. And, and one of the guys, Finn, has actually been to Mississippi. He speaks perfect English, they all do, but I can tell he like has spent a lot of time in the US because he had. Um, what else do I want to tell you, Sam? And then I, um, at the end of the night, I got to play cards with them uh, before they went to their hostel. So that was the night, so much better than just doing nothing. And the tipping point was the frustration of always choosing inaction over action and always wondering what could have been and never never thinking about the potential of a of a of an interaction like the maximum potential um, once i finally was asking myself like what's the best that could happen it was a no-brainer to talk to those girls it was a no-brainer to walk up to those group of people playing volleyball because the best did happen with the germans so yeah i'll leave it at that hopefully that encapsulates it Sorry, I'm so verbose because I'm just, I was so excited that it happened and I just want to remember it forever because I want to have more moments like this meeting people spontaneously. I finally made it back to Karlsruhe and I just wanted to say that I'm exhausted. I, I think it's just a combination of <clears throat> having to orient each day, like with a full day of travel, going to a new place each day or every other day never having any alone time, you know, like being in a hostel, you know, alone, you know, trying to decompress like this. So, made it back, finally. With no data, but it's fine. I managed. Yeah. Just a little tidbit of my experience that I didn't think about, but I need time to decompress and recharge and, and actually be alone. So, yeah. It feels so nice out. And Fabio and Helen are about to teach me stick shift. <laughs> Guess what? I just tried running stick shift. Helen and Fabio let me drive Helen's car. We went to I think the Kaufland parking lot. We went to some parking lot and I got to try driving around using the clutch and going from first to second and second to first was quite challenging and I stalled quite often but I learned 
some, and now I have a kind of a general feeling of what it's like to drive stick shift, which is all I wanted. Really valuable experience, and they're so kind just on a rainy Sunday morning to just let me try it out. I'm so grateful, and yeah, now I, I, I don't know how to drive stick shift, but I understand kind of the general basics behind it. So, yeah, I love, I love learning. Thank you, Fabio. Thank you, Helen. Pig in there. Pig. Rice Krispies. German Rice Krispies. Could you remove the heat for a sec? Oh, yeah. Is he an excellent everything or just... just Boom. He's an excellent everything. Four Flammenkuchen. It smells so good. <laughs> Yo, what's up from the, the German Airbnb toilet? So I just wanted to say, I just yapped for an hour and a half to mom and dad about what I did the past two weeks. I don't know why I was so verbose. I don't know why I care about sharing it so much with them. I guess I care about them and sharing with them my adventure, I don't know. Um, and I still cared and wondered what they were doing too, even though it feels so far away and so disconnected from my life. And at the end of it, mom started crying before we hung up and she couldn't control it. And I don't know, I just wanted to tell you that. I don't know why. I don't know how to feel actually. Because I'm never sad missing them. But I can tell she misses me, I guess. And I guess I just feel bad for not missing her equally. That's what I wanted to say. I would obviously miss them more without texting and video calling. So, at least I have that. But yeah, that's how I felt. That's what I wanted to capture. Six days left, bro. And then, Nihon. One more thing, Sam. Three weeks ago, I was feeling an intense level of FOMO and regret, as you saw in the Famous It talk. But for the past two weeks, I've had so much going on and so much to see and do and experience and people to be with, things to see that I haven't had time to sit back and feel any negative emotions like that. Especially not that I've actually done action over inaction in Amsterdam. I think that totally lessened the degree of the FOMO and pain of inaction that I was feeling. Um, just probably overanalyzing once again, but um, yeah, that's what I've been thinking about. Go to Katsan tomorrow. Yo, please. Where the heck are we? I'm about to die in Germany. Are we stopping here? I don't know if you can see this, but it's so dark out. Oh, now you totally can't. Morning, Sam. Morning from Flo's place. So cool. So peaceful. All I wanted to say is that it's pretty cool that I'm getting to experience fall. Because it's literally like 18 degrees right now, which is probably 70s or something. And the leaves are falling in Kaosu. And then I'm going to get to go to Miyazaki and go back to being at like summer weather in the beach at the beach like 25 at the lowest 33 at the highest or something every day 
So I'm gonna experience fall now and then hopefully fall again in, in Japan. And then I wanna get to go back to summer in Australia. It's so cool. Getting to experience seasons briefly before going back to my ideal summer. W eats. Boom. Jonah, pizza. Pizza. Look at that. Pizza. 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 And I just wanted to not really talk about today or the fact that it's ending, but the fact that I had one of the best days yet in Germany yesterday. All thanks to Till and Fabio and the rest of my really close German friends from this friend group. I met, I met Till, Fabio, um, Robert, and Julius at the Mensa to get curry work, curry. Curry, curry back for the last time. <clears throat> we ate outside. Just like the first time that I ate at the Menza outside at those stone tables there. But that wasn't the best part. That was cool. And then me and Till biked to Famaze. I showed him Famaze. And we actually ended up having really nice, unplanned, deep conversations throughout the entire afternoon together on the ride there and chilling at the dock on the lake together, sitting on that wooden um, railing together. And then I showed him the cool spot where to swim, where no one else swims. And we had the whole lake to ourselves basically. And then I showed him a, the most bizarre unknown location ever, a field in the middle of nowhere. It was absolutely perfect. I should have taken a picture. We threw the football there and kept talking about life and work and passions and girls and regrets, but what we don't want to regret. And I just really connected with him and it felt right. So I gave him one of these bead bracelets, bro. He understood the significance of it and was very thankful that he was the German that got it. And I'm glad I gave it to him. That's what made the day special. But then, if, as if it couldn't get any better, we went back to his house and um, showed on the balcony and studied Japanese together, which was cool. But the highlight was me, him, Martin, Johannes, Robert, um, Helen, Fabio, Julius, and his girlfriend. So all nine of us. I think I said everyone. I hope I did. Yeah, I did. Um, we all went to Marianne's Flammkuchen, and that's a place in the Klotzanlage, Gunter Klotzanlage. It's close by there, by that big park, and um, <laughs> I didn't realize it, but that whole event, we, we ate all you can eat Flammkuchen, and that whole event was just for me. They all got together the, on this Friday evening to, I guess, send me off, and that's so nice. And it's something Fabio had planned like a month ago and I had just forgotten it was for me. I thought that they had just invited me to join. Um, we ate so much Flammkuchen and it was so good. I spent 30 bucks, but I think it was worth it. And I think we ate like 20 Flammkuchen in total. And then at the end of the night, I had to start saying goodbyes, just like I did to Jamie two nights ago and all my other friends. Nico, Lucas, Fabi, Costa. Oh, there's so many I don't want to forget. Marcel. All of them. Ah, uh, Elias and Jonas as well. Yeah. Sorry if I forgot anyone. There's so many people. I didn't forget you. I just am forgetting in the moment. I've met so many nice people though. And yesterday was special. And so now I'm going to be moving out. I don't know if this will be the last clip or not. 
I don't think so. I'll, I'll do one more. But yeah, I'm eating my leftover stir fry wrap, my last dugum. And um, yeah, looking forward to the unknowns of Japan. Boom, I did it. Look, everything I need to live. Like literally everything, even the omiyage, like the nim fight, the that, even that fit in. Everything, everything fit in. It's insane, and it was actually easy because I had given away to the what was it, the old Kaida station, like the container where the old clothes go. I put my khaki pants, my one long sleeve shirt that I brought, and my belt, and a shirt. And so with those four gone, plus Fabio's. Um, Purdue thick uh, sweatshirt pullover thing that I brought here to get him from Purdue, that's also gone. So I'm so much happier with my loadout. I feel like it's actually pretty well streamlined for world travel and backpacking, which is what I was concerned about. I didn't want to be burdened by my burden. Um, yep, gonna try and go to the Schloss Park one last time and read. It's not nostalgic or bittersweet yet. I don't know. I think it kind of is, especially once I'm doing all this stuff for the last time. Anyways, that's what I just did. Not trying to ramble. I guess I'm in a good mood. All right, peace. The nostalgia and bittersweetness is kind of hitting now. I'm never gonna sit here again. Very unlikely. Okay, Sam, this is it. I know I've spammed you a lot today, but it's move out day. And I just wanted to capture how I feel after this first time leaving, you know, my first location. And the bittersweetness has set in. I, I have like a small little like <laughs> thing in my throat. Um, I don't think I'm sad for leaving. I think it's the sad of the change and how stark of a change it's gonna be. I think I'm scared deep down. I'm also paranoid I'm gonna leave stuff, but yeah, this it's not that I love this or anything, but it's what I know, and leaving it is tough, I guess. I don't know. I'm gonna have an awesome last night with Fabio and Helen. Gonna treat them to ramen or some noodle place, I think. Um, yeah, see you in the next clip. Bittersweet for real. Street, my favorite. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. It's so pretty. Yeah, you're right. Alright, saying this is it. Last clip in Germany. Just said bye to Flo. Gonna walk to get the the metro to go to Hauptbahnhof and go to Frankfurt and then Shanghai and then Fukuoka. What an amazing journey, bro. One's ending and another's beginning. I absolutely loved it here in Germany. All thanks to the friends I've made. I loved it so much. Memories for a lifetime. I hope you treasure them. I'll see you in the next one, Sam. Ciao.